Hello students, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Arpita De and today I'm going to discuss with you cell fusion experiment. This is one of the most important part of your cell cycle chapter that will help us to understand the chapter in a more clear way. Now let's move into the topic. As we all know, a cell has got an interface or the cell passes through an interface before it gets into the mitotic cycle. This interface can be broadly divided into three phases, which are the G1 phase, the S phase and the G2 phase. The uh, G1 stands for gap and S stands for synthesis. There is also a phase known as G0 phase, which is more uh, popularly known as the resting phase or the non-replicative phase. This is also known as the quiescent phase. Now let's come to this diagram. Here you can see the diagram of a cell cycle. Alright, the cell cycle here is broadly divided into two parts. One is the interface and the other is mitosis. The interface as I had just now mentioned has got three parts to it G1, S and G2 and mitosis has got four parts to it prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Now what does this C signify? C signifies cytokinesis. Before cytokinesis whatever is happening it's a part of karyokinesis. Karyokinesis is all related to the nucleus and cytokinesis is after karyokinesis the cell becomes two from one this is cytokinesis okay now here we'll see briefly what happens in these different phases we'll start with g1 in g1 what is happening there is an overall increase in the cellular content but not the dna uh, we know other than the DNA, there are various components in the cell. These components get duplicated or they increase. Alright? This increased content gets divided or it gets equally divided into two daughter cells. Okay? In S phase, what's happening? S phase is the synthesis phase. Uh, more precisely synthesis of DNA that is the DNA or the genetic material gets duplicated here. Next coming to G2. G2 is what? Here a check is carried out. It's like a police station you can say. It is checked for error in the synthesized DNA. And then comes the mitotic phase. In mitotic phase, we get to see four phases. The prophase, metaphase, anaphase and finally the telophase which is then followed by cytokinesis. Now, we will come to the main topic of discussion. Rao and Johnson had given us this famous nuclear fusion experiment which gives us a very, very clear idea about the status of the nuclei at different phases of the cell cycle. Here we get to see three different pictures. We'll be talking about all the three pictures in the following slides. First, in the first picture what we see, we are seeing that two cells are fused. One from the S phase and the other from G1 phase. Okay, what happens? What is the observation? We have numbered it as 1. We can see that the resultant cell has got two nuclei. The G1 nucleus comes under the influence of the S nuclei and comfortably moves into S phase. Okay, the S phase nucleus continues DNA replication. DNA replication occurs in G1 nucleus which is triggered by S phase CDK or S CDK activity 
in S phase. Only G1 cells are competent to initiate DNA replication and those cells that have completed S phase are not able to replicate their DNA. Please note this. This is very, very important. Okay. Now, we'll go to the next diagram. In the next diagram, what we get to see is two cells are again fused. One from S phase and the other from G2. Here what happens, we see that G2 phase nucleus stays in G2. But the S phase nucleus also simultaneously continue to retain its position. That means it continues DNA replication. G2 nucleus has already completed S phase. They can no longer replicate their DNA. This happens due to a special reason. Various investigations had uh, brought to us the fact why is this happening? There are special proteins known as MCM proteins which binds to the origin of replication together with ORC. All right. MCM proteins are needed for initiation of DNA replication. It can only bind to the nuclei which is undergoing G1 phase. Please note this. It can only bind to nuclei which are undergoing the G1 phase allowing the DNA to move into S phase or in other words we can say it promotes the DNA towards the synthesis phase. Once initia initiation has occurred the MCM proteins are displaced so that replication cannot initiate again. Okay. Then finally we go to the last one. Last diagram. Here what we do. Two cells again are chosen. One from G1. The other from G2. They are fused. What is the result? And I mean what is the observation? We see two different nuclei. What conclusion can be drawn from this? What is the inference? We can say that G2 phase nucleus stays in G2 while G1 nucleus enters S phase according to its own timetable. That means none of the nuclei are influencing each other. G1 goes in its own path following its own timetable and cycle and G2 is also maintaining its own status. And this experiment, this cell fusion experiment has uh, given us a very clear idea about the condition of nuclei or the condition of cells that is passing through these phases. If you feel that uh, this video has helped you learn something new, please do share these with your friends and try to hit the bell icon to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for your kind attention.